Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a fall clean with me and I'm also going to be sharing a really cute spooky season dinner recipe that the kids are going to love. Hi you guys, like I said, today we're doing a fall clean with me and a couple of really fun, cute, spooky recipes. Kids are laughing in the background. A couple of recipes that you can try out with your family this spooky season. I'm so excited to be sharing those with you guys. If you guys are new here, my name is Morgan. I do lots of mom style content. Here on my channel, I do day in the life videos. I share lots of cooking recipes. I just share everything in momhood from like being a hot mess to like homemaking and decorating. I do a lot of cleaning and decorating on my channel because A, I love decorating and B, there's always messes to clean in my house. So, so again, if you are new here, I would love if you considered subscribing to my channel before you leave. And without any further ado, let's hop on into the video and the chaos for today. So in today's video, I am cleaning up my house. It was a disaster. It was so messy. We've been sick, so I was not able to run around and clean. Cooking was non-existent. We ordered pizza and DoorDash, and people brought us dinner. It was so nice, but now it's back to reality, and I need to start getting back into routine. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm sick, I just, like, yearn for those like routine days and doing my thing and I just I thrive in it I love being motivational for you guys and I love motivating myself so when I'm not being motivational and I have no motivation to clean I just or like do anything or get things done I feel like I am totally out of sorts so anyways I hope I give you guys all the motivation from this video and I hope you guys are staying healthy I'll have a really fun stuffed pepper recipe at the end of this video that I know that you guys are going to love because seriously the insides of it are the freaking best like stuffed pepper insides I have ever made they're so good and the kids will love them as well because they're super fun I'm sure you guys have seen them over over on Pinterest before but hopping into the cleaning for today I am going to let you guys enjoy this video get all the motivation write down your to-do list that's one of my favorite things to do is write down the things that I need to get done and what is going to make me feel accomplished this week so go ahead get your pen and paper out write those notes down and kick butt with me today and get your to-do list taken care of Today's video is also in collaboration with Fargo Mom Blog. I have talked about these guys before, but Fargo Mom Blog has the most amazing articles. I I absolutely love Kathy and her blog. She's just such an amazing human. She is local to my area. I am from the Fargo Moorhead area, Fargo, North Dakota, and like Minnesota area. And I love that there are so many local moms connecting with each other over on her Facebook group and turning to the articles for comfort and relatability. There's just so much information and comfort to be found within the articles over on the blog. Even if you're not local to my area, these articles totally resonate with me. I love everything that's coming out this fall from Fargo Mom Blog. So again, even if you're not local, there's lots of really great stuff in there. And and highly recommend that you guys go and check them out. I will have the blog link down below for you guys, and I will also have the Facebook group linked down below for you as well.
So in this clip, I have all of my fall Mrs. Myers scents laid out. My favorite are the Spiced Pumpkin and the Acorn Spice. Those are the two scents that I usually reach for. I'm going to use those up in October and November, but you know your girl is waiting for the peppermint to come out from Mrs. Myers this holiday season. That's one of my favorites, and I stock up on it because I think that peppermint is just like a really good, clean scent to have in the house year round. But especially during the holidays, I love to um, use that around the house. It just makes everything smell so festive and delicious. And I get all of my cleaning products from Grove Collaborative, which I always have linked in the description box for you guys. If you are a new user, to Grove, you know the drill. You can get a free five piece Mrs. Myers cleaning set um, with the link and code down below. So, again, head over to Grove and check it out. I absolutely love it. You can control how much you get each month, and as long as your order hits that minimum $25, $30, I believe, um, then it will ship out. But I find the price is very comparable to Target and then I don't even need to go to the store and get them. They're shipped automatically, and I have it spaced out so that as soon as I'm running out of something, I'm receiving a box full of everything that I need again. So I have loved Grove. I've used them for years now, and I highly recommend them, especially during the wintertime months coming up when you don't necessarily want to leave the warmth and comfort of your home. Everything is delivered right to your door. It is super easy and just brainless. So one last thing on my list to do.
So today I am sharing with you my stuffed pumpkin pepper recipe. I'm sure you guys have seen these cute little pumpkin peppers over on Pinterest and on Instagram. These are so cute and the kids love them and it's so festive, but the insides of my stuffed peppers are the bomb, the best, so good. Um, I like to use, first off, I'll do a variety of colored peppers because they all have a little bit different of a taste. Um, my personal favorite is the orange and the green peppers. I think that once the peppers get to that red, they're just a little too ripe for me, but Anyways, I like to use a variety of colors and then the key to get them to stand up is to use a pan that is like nice and tight fitting for the peppers. And to carve out the little guy's faces, here's my hack for you guys. I used a pumpkin carving knife and it was so much easier. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. I've made these peppers before, but it was so much easier using the pumpkin, the tiny little pumpkin carving knife. I could really get those details uh, cute. And I'm sorry for the fly running around in the background. I tried to catch him like three times before recording this clip and I couldn't. He's too fast. He's outsmarting me and he's antagonizing me in these clips. But 
Anyways, try the pumpkin carving knife out. It's so much easier and you can really get those details nice and crisp. Now for the insides of the stuffed peppers, I did two cups of shredded smoked pork, which we have this on hand quite often. We'll smoke a huge pork butt ahead of time, freeze it, and then we just defrost it in like individual sections. You can freeze it in individual sections as well. Um, and then I did a can of corn, a can of black beans, and I added in that Spanish rice and I mixed everything together. Already is smelling so good. I was tasting it and my mind was blown. Here's that fly again, seriously antagonizing me. Um, and then I added a little bit of the Fergalicious seasoning that we have in the house, which is just like a general barbecue seasoning, like um, not barbecue sauce, but like, you know, just for barbecuing on the grill. It's very good. It's like a paprika, salt, pepper, onion powder mix. And then I also add in onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, chili powder, and paprika. And I would say I do about a half to a whole teaspoon of those. And then I salt and pepper to taste. And that is it. The insides of the, seriously, I, I cannot tell you how delicious these are. Um, I will sometimes put shredded cheese on the inside. Um, but this night I was trying to cut down on our shredded cheese a little bit, our cheese intake. So, so I only topped it with shredded cheese. And that is it. That is the final result, you guys. These are so good. I hope you guys try your hand at them at home. If you do, please tag me over on Instagram or in your Instagram stories. And that is going to be it from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got all of the motivation and you wanna get your to-do list taken care of now. And these little stuffed peppers are so cute. So you need to go and try them because the kids are gonna love them. You're gonna love them, trust me. Okay guys, I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video, okay? Bye guys.